you if you um want to see the flowers i did i did quite quite few tie of really cute simple easy flowers i did this this is really one of a simple one too i did so many video for this it looks so bright though but it's like one two big petals and four little ones and you can also using the same technique to create a butterfly it's so bright though uh but anyway uh, i have a lot of videos feel free to check it out and i also using this really cute one to I'm gonna do three of them. Do one first to create a sunflower too. So uh, feel free to check it out. You can do this. Now we're gonna do like um, three petals. So what do you do? Place it in the nails. It always sticks really good in the nails on the top of the no wipe top coat right here. And then plant. So you're gonna do one, three, one two and three really easy for beginner or even for the um nail art lover for all of you who is really enjoying it and doing it at home it definitely is going to be so much fun and so easy so press it and release so give it like really good pressure but it's not too much i am having a so much fun with this and without frustrated at all and it's really cool you can use the edges of your as um silicone two spatials for this um, you don't want to be too small and too big this is perfect for hours paddles and all other details this is really cool and you can add it on service with the client with our liquid and powders you know that you have to set when you place your beats on you have to get a certain time it depends on the weather you gotta move it fast otherwise it's gonna set on you but with this one it will not until you are going to cure under led light so same you're gonna thinking of placing that three petals like a little triangle and you don't have to perfect each petal first you can go back and adjust them the way you want, if you want this petal to be curved up a little bit, you can do so. All right. Same thing with this. Move it up and leap it up, or you can make it like a three dimensionals. You up to you. You can stop it right here as your flower. Super cute. You can put some crystal here. This will create this really cool and easy. Um, less than five minutes for you to create your cute flowers all right so if you want your petal to be smaller get the smaller beads um, if you want your petal to be bigger for the longer nails you can definitely add um, pick your beads a little bit bigger and it's really cool about this if the bead is too big or too small you can always add more and take it off more off um, as will not dry and not set until you cure so you can definitely adjusting it okay so now it's really cool and simple here quick 10 second or 30 second hold on one second no not yet and then i have two more petals right here you can add another so if you feel happy with this just stop and put some crystal on if you want to continue to add one more layer you absolutely can um just it depends on you doing it. Like for instance, the clients only want dramatic flowers. You want to do like a $10 flowers or $5 flowers. So then that way you can able to, you know, like consult with your clients. So I'm going to get more beads. So this one is going to be smaller than the ones is I, the first layer. So I'm going to place this right between two petals. To make it look more natural look. All right, leave it there. Leave it there. Don't have to be completely finished. Yet. Just press it down and release. And this three petals, three beads, you are going to get the same size, okay? You want to get is the same size, so you create it. But however, you can do a tiny little, little bit um, bigger or smaller not going to be a big deal because all the patterns um, of the flower is not supposed to be like identical you know so you press it 45 degree is this really cool that when you I'm going to show you on the angle right here we'll place it down you see that how it's give you a really cool angle 
and then you spread it all right and then do the same thing with this one and also when you're working with the clients you can ask them to turn their fingers like that it's easy for you different angles so then you can create so many different designs without feeling like it's um awkward for you so now if you have three of them already so then now you can perfect them however then what you want it all right all right so i'm happy with this so you are like a fit of your clients will be so active and then they are not going to sit still and they want to watch it just here for quick 10 seconds it won't take too long because when you flash cure it and you're doing the other nails um it won't take too long but then it's keep uh is avoiding of the clients heating or touching and then destroy yours um flowers so i'm gonna using so first that's a super cute colors is high noon i'm using so now i'm gonna using with deep green to make some cute leaves so then this is for the clients who just want flowers only no crystal that's absolutely fine you can add it on but if the client that some clients want to get like uh crystal on it you can add some smaller crystal where do i drop it oh my nose and then same thing you can continue doing the same uh, techniques I do if you have a longer nails. This is for shorter nails, uh, tutorials, and then I did a lot of longer nails. So if you like the longer nails, you can definitely add it on um, more, like more petals here. All right, where I'm at. All right, so press it down and release. You see that I don't use any alcohol at all. Um, try not, and I don't ever use an alcohol at all it's only a need to use it to just clean my um tool if it get tacky later so press it down and pull really gentle and press it on the side to make a super cute crease there same thing with this so you can do just the flowers or you can do a crystal or charm and chains or however you would like all right and using the tip of your silicone door end and press it down all right super cute you can add more on it but you see it's still seeing really cool of marble looks of the fusioning here all right so here for 60 seconds 